Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So today I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin Confidential and in particular how you can claim your free coins from the airdrop which was carried out uh, last night. So the Bitcoin Confidential site uh, here, bitcoinconfidential.cc, I won't go into the coin in any real details. This is only really just a quick how-to video for people that held Smart Cash. So if you did have Smart Cash back last December, so the 15th of December 2018, if you held more than one Smart Cash on an address that you also held the private keys for that address so it's only relevant for people that had them in local wallets where you can get your private keys if you had smart cash on exchanges or anything like that you won't be able to kind of claim these airdrop uh, but if you held a uh, smart cash in a wallet such as the core wallet last december the 15th uh, 2018 uh, you will be eligible for the airdrop of bitcoin confidential now it went live on the main net last night and at, as of when it went kind of live, all the airdrop coins were available. So uh, the other thing I really need to make uh, you aware of is that you will need to import your private keys from Smart Cash into Bitcoin Confidential in order to claim your coins. Now, um, you should be aware there's always a risk if you expose your private keys to kind of anybody. There's always a risk. Now, I'm not suggesting for a moment that you will lose your smart cash or anything like that. There's no um, there's no evidence or that there's no suggestions at all that kind of Bitcoin confidential will be uh, stealing kind of coins or anything like that. But you have to be kind of uh, careful. So, um, you know, be aware of that. If you are going to import your um, keys, make sure you move your smart cash to another address, ideally or another wallet before you actually import your old uh, private keys into the new Bitcoin Confidential wallet. But uh, the website is here. You can read all about it, bitcoinconfidential.cc. And I'll put these links below and the latest version of the wallet. So this is version 1.0.0. So uh, make sure you're on the latest one and not the old testnet ones. I think they've actually removed those now. But there's versions available for uh, Windows 32 and 64-bit, uh, Linux, Mac, and also Raspberry Pi. Um, so you can download the wallet from here. But the first thing you need to do is export your private keys from your smart cash wallet. And I'll just show you how to do that now. So uh, this is my uh, smart cash wallet. So first thing you need to do is grab your uh, addresses. So if you go to file and then receive an address, you can see I've got four addresses here. Now, what I would recommend is uh, just open up a text file, something like that, and then copy in your addresses over into a text file. Uh, once you've uh, copied them all over, what we need to do is unlock the wallet and then uh, dump the private keys for those particular addresses. So uh, we do that through help and debug window. And then there's a couple of uh, commands you're going to need to run. Now, unlike a lot of staking wallets, you can't um, actually unlock your wallet through here. It doesn't have any kind of option within the kind of menu uh, system. So you need to do this through command line. And the command to do it is wallet passphrase. So as you start typing, all the different kind of options will kind of pop up. So wallet passphrase, then put a space, and then you need to put in the a passphrase for your wallet so obviously your wallet should be encrypted with a passphrase so you then type in your passphrase then another space and then put 600 so you'll have wallet passphrase a space and then password whatever your password is so password 123 or whatever it is uh, a space and then 600 that will unlock your wallet hit return that will unlock your wallet for five minutes then what we need to do is dump the private keys so the command to do that is just dump priv key and then space and then you put your address in so for example that's uh, my first address that we got here on the receiving addresses see that one there so what you would do is you just copy and paste uh, that in so dump priv key space then put your address in hit return and it will give you a private key uh, so then what you need to do is going to copy that private key i'll copy them just all over under the uh, relevant kind of addresses into a little text file here uh, then once you've done that uh, make sure you uh, close down your kind of wallet and restart it so all the history is removed from here also make sure you um, clear your um, your clipboard in kind of windows anything like that so nobody can just kind of like uh, go in and kind of kind of paste what was the last thing uh, done so uh, copy them over into a text file uh, just a temporary text file make sure you don't save it kind of or store it anywhere and then we're going to need those private keys that you would have um, uh, just produced from your smart cash wallet in order to import them into your Bitcoin confidential wallet. Okay, so this is the Bitcoin Confidential uh, Core Wallet. This is actually on a different machine. So I've moved over onto uh, the different machine that this is installed in. And basically what you need to do is just download the one that's relevant for your uh, particular operating system. Uh, install that, uh, wait till it um, updates and reaches 
the process is up to the latest block. So we're currently on 1395. So as I said, it only went live uh, last night. So uh, it will only take a few minutes. So uh, open it up, let it uh, sync. And then what you need to do is import your private keys uh, from SmartCash. So again, you go to help and the debug window and then make sure you're on console as opposed to information. So go to console and then what we need to do is run another command. So it's just import and then you can see here import priv key. So import priv key space and then basically you just copy each one one at a time of your private keys that you just exported. So not the address from SmartCash, the actual private key. So paste that, hit return and then basically it will go through and it will import um, the coins that are available from the airdrop uh, directly into your wallet. Now, if you uh, don't worry, if you try and import a, a public key that's not eligible for the airdrop, it will just tell you that it was um, it's in, in an ineligible uh, private key or an ineligible address. So uh, once you've done that, I only had two addresses that were eligible. So you can see here received um, just over 200,000, so uh, 100,000 fraction under, and then 103,000 from those two addresses. Now I then um, played around a little bit. I sent them out to um, a different address and move them kind of around so i just wanted to see how the wallet worked um now obviously if you have a kind of wallet make sure you then uh, encrypt i think it's easier to import your kind of keys and then encrypt your wallet so make sure your wallet is encrypted and then if you want to stake them so they will go into automatically into staking addresses you can see here staking i've got all those coins available so both those addresses are available for staking if you go to the staking tab um, you should see that that's enabled now if you move coins uh, from somewhere else or you kind of move them somewhere and move them back you will require 255 I think confirmations before they become eligible for staking if you just grab them from the airdrop right at the beginning I believe they were eligible for staking straight away the other thing to mention is if you want to send them out from your wallet you can't send them from a staking wallet you need to click this button here so convert to spending and then um, you can have a spend an address. So if you go to receive, you can set up address or of course file and receive an address. As you can say, just set up a sample one there, but you basically go to staking, convert to spending, and then you can use all the available balance or however much you kind of want. Um, pop your spending address in there and they are a slightly different format. So the staking addresses are all start with a lowercase b and are a little bit smaller. Uh, the um, regular kind of addresses are kind of longer and these are for private transactions and stuff like that. So if you want to send them out, you need to convert to spending and then after converting 12 confirmation, you need to wait before you can actually send them out. Now, I'm not going to go into any details. If you go back to status, you can see um, I am staking here now. Um, as I said, I, I did try this to make sure it kind of works. So I, I moved all my coins over to a spending address and then moved them back to a staking address and waited the 255 uh, confirmations to make them available and as you can see here it's enabled for staking and my estimated time for next reward is 34 hours so just over a day it's predicting but the network difficulty is increasing all the time as people are claiming their airdropped uh, coins uh, there is also a cold staking option I won't go through the details for that you can jump onto their uh, discord group if people are interested in me uh, doing a video and running over this I'm happy to do that let me know in the comments below but that's basically um all you need to do so if you weren't running uh, smart cash on the core wallet you had them in a different wallet as long as you've got access to your private keys all you need to do is export your private keys and then import them into this new wallet bitcoin confidential uh, core wallet and as soon as you import them they will then show up the airdrop coins were available uh, from when the main net went live last night as always again uh, want to mention it again you know make sure that you are happy that you are importing your keys i would al always recommend that you move your coins before you do this into a different address or ideally a different wallet. Um, I know that's not necessarily ideal with Smart Cash because you will then lose your Smart Rewards for the next month. Or obviously, if you're running a, a Smart Node or something like that, it's not easy just to kind of move them over. But um, there are obviously security concerns. And once you've imported those, make sure you delete that uh, text file where you stored them temporarily. Make sure it's removed from your recycle bin and it's not uh, accessible to anyone anyway that's it for today just a quick video but i just wanted to make people aware that the uh, bitcoin confidential is now kind of live um staking rewards are going to be minimal for the first um a few thousand blocks i believe so everybody gets um 
a sort of like a, a fair chance at kind of staking. But um, be interested to see how this performs. I think I'm going to kind of leave it. I'm not aiming to sell or anything like that initially. I think I'll just leave this, uh, add them into my uh, staking kind of experiment and see what happens over the next uh, few weeks or months. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, ask me any questions in the comments below as always. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.